Hey kids, Tavi Rider here. I have been amazed by the rate of innovation and development with Instant Wire. People are improving it, people are coming up with new applications for it that I never would have considered. It's been just a wonderful time of innovation. And I wanted to, first of all, update everyone on the state of the art in Instant Wire. And I also wanted to go a little bit more in depth into how this effect works and to really understand how to know if something is Instant Wire. Because unfortunately, people have been improving Instant Wire, but they didn't realize that what they had made wasn't actually Instant Wire anymore. So I'm going to show you exactly what Instant Wire is and how to see that effect. And I'm going to show you step by step how to build two different varieties. This is the simpler one. It's more compact. And so we're going to start with a block with a lever on it. That's our initial power input. A uh, short set of redstone there. And then a block above ground with a torch on it. Two level blocks. And then a block below ground with a torch on it. And then against the above ground block, we place a piston. And then we need a block for the piston to push. And then we continue the line out from the block. And the wool is optional. I just use it to make things stand out a little bit better and to understand where things are going. But there we go. It should be powered. Looks good. And so here, this is a, you could call this portion an instant repeater, the whole thing an instant wire. Uh, and when we power this switch, nothing changes. That's expected. But when this switch goes from powered to unpowered, the piston moves and this line over here flashes. Now, wait a minute, that piston didn't make any sound. That's because that is a really loud, obnoxious noise for videos, and we're going to be hearing a lot of it. So I went in, I found in.og and out.og in my .minecraft folder, uh, replaced them with a section of silence, and then marked them as read-only. So you're not going to hear any piston noises in this video. Okay, uh, so back to the effect that we're looking for. When this line goes from powered to unpowered, that line also goes from powered to unpowered at the exact same instant. Did you see it? Well, me neither, because it's too hard to see. So let me show a good way of demonstrating that. Um, let's first build another instant repeater. So one above ground, two level, one below ground, torch below ground, a torch above ground, piston up against that block, and then a block for the piston to push. And then we'll run the line a little further. Redstone on it. There we go. And so we'll be able to see a couple of things here. The pistons move at the same time. Now, that could be a graphical glitch. That could be just um, maybe we're not seeing it all that clearly. Uh, this line and this line also go from powered to unpowered at the same instant. But it's still kind of hard to see. So let me use note blocks to help out. Now, the naive way to do this would be to put down uh, a block of redstone and then the note block. And same thing over here. But the problem is, well, when I power it and unpower it, the notes alternate. And that's because this one, uh, well, the instant wire effect is when a line goes from powered to unpowered. But note blocks sound at the opposite time, when it goes from unpowered to powered. So we can't really use this, and this first section just has completely different behavior for when it goes powered uh, than the rest of the wire. So we need to invert these. So we throw down a block, block above ground, and we put a torch on each of these on top. And then uh, a nice little trick is you right-click that very top edge of the torch, and it'll place the note block right on top. There we go. So now we'll be able to see it and hear it better. Those little green notes fly up at the exact same instant, and it sounds like a single note. It doesn't sound like two notes at slightly different times. It is coming at the exact same time. So that is the instant wire effect that we're looking for. Now, let's go a little bit more into how this works. Um, a lot of people are going to wonder, what is this torch doing here? Why is that here? Well, let's remove it and show what it does for us. Um, watch what happens with, to those two pistons as I cycle this. When I power the line, they extend at different times, and when I unpower it, they retract at the same instant. So that's the instant wire effect, but, the re but when they extend, they go one, two. 
And the longer the instant wire is, the more repeaters you have in a row, the longer it takes for the last one to finally extend and be ready to retract again. So if we put a torch on top of this block that's right next to the piston, well, what happens is when this line uh, goes from unpowered to powered, it extends the piston. And then when it goes from powered to unpowered, the piston retracts, but that lets this torch light up which immediately extends the piston again. So the piston goes right back to the ready position for the next cycle. So now the pistons bounce right back to being ready to go again. It's nice and compact. I did this with I did this before with a little bit of line that goes around the side, but all you have to do is put a block here and a torch on top and it works fine. This is this is very compact and simple. It's only one wide. It's a little bit taller than it might be otherwise, but it's great. Now there is a drawback to this though, and it has to do with the fact that we're using a torch. To demonstrate this, I'm going to have to build a little bit more stuff here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is build a clock. Now, not the kind of clock that tells time, but the kind of clock that keeps a regular signal, a regular on-off signal, like the clock in your computer when they talk about your CPU's clock speed. And so we have two redstone repeaters pointing in opposite directions. I put them on their longest delays. And we're going to get a signal that just bounces back and forth between the two of these. Now there's this other neat little trick that I like for starting up one of these. We're going to have this block here with a lever on it. And we make the lever powered. And now, let me knock this out for a second here. And watch what happens when I place the torch on the side of this block. It flashes on for an instant and then goes out again. It's because when you place a torch, it initially starts out powered, but then it notices, hey, I'm attached to a block that's powered. I should have gone out. And so it goes out. And we can take advantage of that to make a very short one-time pulse to start up this clock. And now we have our nice repeating pattern. Now, if we attach this to our instant wire, nice steady rhythm and it's staying instant those notes are playing at the same time everything works just fine now to demonstrate what happens next and the limitation with this kind of instant repeater uh, let me break this first and then I'm going to just attach it to a wire on the side here for a second and we're going to put a torch on top of a block and then attach the redstone to it so this is going to suppress the torch and we'll restart our clock I'm going to, before I restart our clock, I'm going to make it one notch faster on each of these. And we restart it, and in a few seconds, watch what happens to this torch. You hear that fizzing out noise, it's burning out, and you see the grayish particles flying up. But most importantly, sometimes it doesn't light up when you would expect it to. That's the torch burning out. This is a protection that's built into Minecraft to keep you from running the game a little too hard. Well. We run it very, very hard with all these instant wires and other creations, but that protection is still there in Minecraft. So if I hook this clock up to our setup here, it's running just fine, but then all of the torches, all four of them that are here, are starting to burn out. And now we can ignore the ones that are for the note blocks. That's just for us to see what's going on. But watch what happens. Sometimes the notes don't play on the rhythm. Or sometimes only one plays or only the other plays. That's a serious problem. So we can't run this style of instant wire this quickly. It can't update that quickly and stay uh, reliable. So we have to find some way of getting the same effect where it retracts the pistons and then extends them again immediately without using any torches at all. Now this was an optimization that a number of people showed me. Uh, I think three different people showed me at the same time and I believe it was Shrog of the RDF who showed it to me first. And what we do is we knock out the block and then the spot underneath so that the block that m is moved by the piston is on top of two different torches. And then we go to the side of the torch we just added and then up next to the piston and put in two bits of redstone. And this is going to do the same thing as that torch. It's going to make the piston reset itself. It's going to look a little odd, but it's going to have the same effect. So we remove the torch here, we knock out the hole underneath the block here, uh, get pushed around by the piston a little bit, and then two bits of redstone on the side. So it's a little wider, 
Uh, it's the same height. Don't forget to count this redstone on top of the block as part of the height. But this will have the same effect without any torches. So now, when we restart our little clock, it's working great. Now, these torches are going to start burning out because uh, we're using them for the note blocks, but the instant wire itself is working just fine. Let's knock these out. That's not helping us very much. Now, it looks kind of odd. The piston does this weird double pump thing. They're, they're both doing this weird thing, but it works reliably. It really is instant wire. As a matter of fact, let's see how fast it can go. If we crank these up all the way to their fastest speed and then start it up. Well, now unfortunately we can't really use the note blocks anymore because these torches are going to start burning out very quickly. It doesn't help us anymore. We could put the note blocks right here on the ground. And we see that this one is going twice as fast as this one. But this is a little unreliable because these note blocks aren't telling us about the instant wire effect. Not when the lines go from powered to unpowered, but when they go in the other direction. And that's not interesting to us. That's not what we're using this for. So we have to sort of rely on looking at the wires. And if you look at how quickly this one is pulsing, it's pulsing at twice the rate of this one. That's kind of a problem. Um, now this is... What's happening here, I believe, is that we are pushing this piston beyond its ability to update. It simply can't extend and retract as quickly as this line is asking it to. So we're getting it slowed down a little bit. Now this section of wire and this section of wire seem to be going at the same rate. But it looks to me like they're actually not going at the exact same time. So what I'm going to try and do is we're going to try and lead this to a note block and hopefully see, get it to not burn out long enough to see the effect. I'm going to get the note block. Oops, can't do that. Here we go. We'll get the note block on top. And then again, the note block on top. I'm going to throw in the torches and watch quickly before this all burns out. Those notes are actually going up at different times. It sounds like dun 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 dun. That's not instant wire anymore. We're losing that effect. So we cannot run this wire as fast as we possibly can with this clock here. Now let me slow it down one notch here and restart it. Now in this case, you can see everything's updating at about the same time. Seems to be going nice and steadily. Let's see if we can rebuild our, our note blocks. Maybe I shouldn't have knocked those out yet. Okay, we'll power these really quickly until they burn out. That seems to be at the exact same time. We have to ignore the torches burning out, but this to me is instant wire. So I think we've got our instant wire uh, with this arrangement with the reset circuit on the side. And you have to use redstone repeaters in a clock like this on their second delay setting. And that's as fast as we can run this. So that's the other kind of instant wire. Why would you use the first one? Well, it's a little more reliable. You don't have to worry so much about the speed because torches will start burning out and you'll know there's something wrong with it immediately. Uh, and it's narrower. You can pack them together more reliably and they don't look quite so glitchy. But otherwise, this is a, a perfectly good kind of instant wire as well. So that's everything I wanted to show you. Well, actually, I really wanted to show you the stuff over here, but that's going to have to wait for my next video. This is honestly the most amazing thing I've been able to construct in Minecraft. Uh, so if you want to see what this is, I'm going to be filming the next video almost immediately. Uh, and if you want to hear when it's out, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, add me on Google+. All you have to do is search for Tavi Rider, and you'll find me, and, uh, and then you can add me, and you'll know immediately when the video's out. All right. Thanks so much for watching.